Are you proud? Yes! That's more like it. Well, we have a lot to be proud of. In the last year, we finally secured in England and Wales same-sex marriage. Give yourself a big cheer. Thanks to all of you and to all our straight friends and allies who walked with us, we now have the right of same-sex couples to marry if they wish. That's a really important advance. It doesn't matter whether you agree with marriage or not, the principle of equality is a fundamental one. And it's so great that now we have the choice. We've got the choice to say yes to marriage and to say no. So again, give yourselves a big cheer that we've won that right. Of course, there are still many battles yet to be won. Same-sex marriage is not equal marriage. It's close, but it's not marriage equality. We now have two separate laws. The 1949 Marriage Act, which is for opposite sex couples only, and the 2013 Marriage Act, which is for same sex couples only. Separate is not equal. There should have been one marriage law for all. Also, of course, there is still discrimination in pension inheritance on the death of a spouse. If you're in a same-sex marriage and you die, your surviving marriage partner will not have the same right to inherit the full pension that you've accrued compared to if you're in a straight marriage. That's discrimination and we're still fighting to overturn that. There are also many other aspects of discrimination that remain. Over half of all young kids in our schools suffer homophobic or transphobic bullying. And only half of all schools in Britain have an anti-bullying program that specifically addresses homophobic and transphobic bullying. That's a betrayal of our young people. And so is the fact that sex and relationship education is not compulsory in schools, and in most cases, it doesn't include education and relation about relationships involving LGBTI people. We need to say that our school system needs to prepare young people, all young people, no matter what their sexual orientation or gender identity, to have happy, healthy, fulfilling relationships, and to protect them against HIV and other STIs. Despite these shortcomings, we have made truly extraordinary gains. Until 1999, Britain had by volume the largest number of anti-gay laws of any country in the world. Now, just over a decade later, nearly all of those anti-gay laws have been repealed and we have some of the best laws in the world. So that's a huge tribute to all of you and the many tens of thousands of other LGBTI people and our straight friends and allies who have campaigned to secure the repeal of that legislation. So again, give yourselves and all of us a huge cheer for the success we've won. Across the world, sadly, the battle is much harder and is going to take much longer. Right now in Glasgow, they're hosting the Commonwealth Games. Yet as we all know, 42 of the 53 Commonwealth member states criminalise same-sex relationships in all circumstances, even between consenting adults in private. And the penalties range from around about 10 years imprisonment right up to life imprisonment and even in Nigeria and Pakistan the possibility of execution. That is a truly grave blot on the conscience of the Commonwealth whose charter pledges equality and human rights for every 
Commonwealth citizen. So we've got a huge battle on our hands to win equality within the Commonwealth. And I might add that of the nearly 80 countries in the world that still criminalize same-sex relationships, more than half of them, 42, are members of the Commonwealth. We need to say loud and clear, you have signed the Commonwealth Charter. You have pledged to ensure equality for all. Now we expect you to honor it. And we stand in solidarity with all those people in Commonwealth countries where the law does criminalize us. We stand in solidarity with those people, LGBTI and straight, who are working bravely and courageously to change those laws. We stand in solidarity with their struggle for LGBTI freedom. Those people will win in the end. Queer freedom has been long delayed, but it cannot be denied. Love will triumph in the end. That's our message. Our message is that love will triumph in the end. And we know, we know from the history of this country, countries in Europe, North America, and even countries like South Africa, Argentina, Uruguay, and others, that we can win these battles, even against huge odds against us, even despite immense homophobia and the malevolent influence of many organized religions. We will triumph in the end. So keep hold of that dream. The dream is that we don't accept the world as it is. We dream of what the world could be. A world without homophobia, biphobia, lesbophobia, transphobia, intersex phobia, gay phobia. We stand together united, determined to win, and in the knowledge that no tyranny lasts forever. We will triumph. Thank you so much. Have a great Norwich Pride.